Hey gang, Zippo. Thursday, say up a timber first. Uh, just did the video on the magnets, on the polarity of the magnets, and why it's different on different electronic ignitions uh, spanning different years of Briggs engines. And I thought, since I had this out, um, this is reminiscent of many of the D series motors back in the 1960s, like 19D, uh, 23D, so on and so forth, that have this unusual three leg coil. Here's one off the engine to make it a little easier to see. It's got one, two, three points of contact for the for the magnets. Um, and this I want this actually has a replaceable coil pack. You take this clip off, you can pull that coil pack off and buy new ones and keep your laminations to restore your three leg Briggs coil. Um, but the question that's come about quite often is on these D type motors, like this Model 8 here. This is actually a uh, Sears 500, uh, 106030 is the model number and the serial uh, does not tell you the year, it has to be decoded. And then if this one's even got valve clearances written on the bottom of it and whatnot. But anyway, that's irrelevant, we're getting off topic. What I wanted to talk about was People have asked, can you convert these three leg coils to electronic ignition and do away with the points? The answer to that is a resounding, yes, you can, with the Nova 2. Even with the points underneath the flywheel, you can still do it. You don't even have to take the flywheel off. You just get your wire that goes to the points, snip it, connect it to your Nova 2, positive goes to the coil wire. There's a little plus there on the corner and a little negative there on the corner. So it tells you which lead is which. But you simply put that positive lead on the points wire, on the coil's points wire, and then the negative to ground and you have eliminated your points. Um, a lot of people also don't know these older cast iron small engines like 6S, 5S, so on and so forth, they have left hand threads to take the flywheel off. So just be aware of that. I guess this is just a bunch of little bits of information here. This particular engine does not have spark. This was my uh, Portland Gas Engine and Tractor Show pickup this year, $20. Uh, it's my fourth Sears 500 engine. Two of them are reduction gears. One's a big boy that was given to me by my good buddy Brian. Uh, the other three I have purchased at Portland um, and they're all similar in years in the 50s but we're going to see what we can do as far as getting this one running and this one may get a uh, points eliminator a Nova 2 or a Stens ignition module and you guys want to keep these mounted to the outside of the engine so that they stay cool or mount them so that when the engine's running the air is blowing over it and keeping it cooled down. You can hide these under the lower housings, by the way. So that's it. Again, I say my back's been out since Monday. I'm still resting it. Uh, I know a lot of you people understand that and sympathize with it. Don't fret. I'll be back on my feet in no time. But until I am, oh, the uh, trusty old cane is with me. So. Um, hope everybody has a wonderful weekend coming up, Memorial Day weekend. Be sure to do a whole lot of work on Memorial Day. I'm sure your wives have honeydew lists ready since you're going to be off work and you'd rather just sit around and drink beer but can't because she's got a honeydew list ready for you. Just go ahead and do the honey list to keep you out of the doghouse. This is Zippo. I'll holler at y'all later. I'm out.